Let me tell you all a story. Once upon a time, there was a guy who started a Let's Play of a really bad game, and he invited somebody to be on the second video. And then he ignored her and went with somebody else after the commentary fucked up the first time. And then he ignored her for the rest of the LP. And then he apologized by inviting her back on to do the very last video. But because he knew that the commentary would still be kind of bad, he got the guy that he replaced her with the first time to join them as well. Also, there's a crystal guy that Croc just made appear. Croc's an idiot. Welcome back to the final Croc video. The adventure returns, and Scruffy returns, along with Jenna. Hi. Uh, I wasn't Hello. even upset that you replaced me. I, it was, it was, it was crap. I wasn't upset. But I forgive you. We can she be in love that, again. But uh, I've had Jenner guest on one of my videos. She is very knowledgeable. Don't let her lie to you. <laughs> if you want me to commentate on your video, send me a PM and I will talk over you playing video games. Teehee. So it looks like over, uh, and you'll talk over you'll talk over people talking over video games as well. Oops. Damn. Um, burned. The whole the whole thing with this final world is that it's really really bad and that whole thing I've been going on about the trident guarantees this whole time this is where it kind of comes to a head. They are the laziest way for the developers to make the to make the levels kind of tricky, and it's all that it's the only tricky the only thing that they have in all four of these final levels. Well, tricky tricky is kind of a very uh, uh, what sort of looking for. Kind word Generous. for what this looks like. It it seems like it's just really tedious. It gets more, it'll get more tedious uh, a little bit later. Well, we had mentioned but, how it takes from the usual like '90s era book of just fill your adventure game with millions of collectibles, right? So it's all tedium. Yeah, sure, it's tedious, and I mean it's not even tedious for a particular reason. You know, you're not collecting too much, but these. Trident guys just blast out fireballs from given distance, and it looks like it's really inconvenient. And I don't think I like it. <laughs> but the, the worst part is that at this point, all all that these levels are supposed to be is platforming, because there is no, there's nothing left to collect. We've gotten all the gobos, we've gotten all the color gems. It's just get all we have to do in these levels is get to the gong. Yeah, pretty much you're just racing to the end at this point. So why are you still collecting gems if you got all the gems? Well, the it's not the uh, it's not the regular gems. Those are the regular gems are kind of like Sonic's rings. It's the right. colored gems, like you have red, green, purple, rainbow. Okay. Yeah. No, no, I, I got it. Okay, we're good. This piece is a lot of. Uh, I still want to. I still want to get on top of those bars, but I can never manage it. Uh, Maybe these if guys you knock jump you off, off the top of that. No, not well. Like, will they jump on your hands? If you're close enough. What? There's a lot of the uh, mechanics from Super Mario in it, I'm noticing. We'd mentioned this, uh, this in the commentary none of you ever heard, I mentioned that this was what, like, it was trying to crib in Super Mario 64. And of course, as someone in the thread will really want, you know, will really want to make known, as if he didn't already do so, this was apparently a inspiration for Mario 64, mm. originally because Argonaut came with the idea of a 3D Yoshi game to Nintendo, and apparently Miyamoto was like, yeah, that's a good idea, but I'll do it better. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to point at the beginning, you know, Croc was putting together all the puzzle pieces and it looks like he just summoned uh, Mecha, Baron, Mecha Baron Dante, I think is what it was. That is the Crystal Sentinel, and... That is da Baron Dante's final form, I guess. And it's an—it's uh, even more of a joke than Dante was in the regular game. Huh. A jerk so, or a joke? Joke. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna stick with jerk. Because, I mean, I remember seeing Baron Dante at the beginning of the game. He was, he was kind of a jerk. Hey, Baron Dante has been nothing but a philanthropist, always helping out you know, the local wildlife. And, in return, Croc murdered the fuck out of his entire race. Well, you know, to be fair, uh, let's see. Yeah, basically what Baron Dante was doing was giving them the equivalent of, uh, 
you know, animal steroids, and then, you know, uh-oh. <laughs> All that work on that platforming and you fell. I'm sorry, Frozen. <laughs> I did. That was more on me because I forgot that you know, the delay between... You can't, you can't just be swiftly spin, spinning and then jumping immediately. You do have to give it, like, half a second or so. Oh, the gems don't come back. Rip. The lives don't. I was hoping that the life would. So yeah, I guess I guess my interpretation of the story is that you know Baron Dante was uh, was trying to pump up the wildland critters with uh, with drugs, you know, because that's what the bad guys do in these old games. Is you know they they try to uh, they try to drug everyone up, but uh, see Croc, he's straight edge. So, winners don't take drugs, kid. Exactly, winners don't do drugs, and if you do, and then drugs a crocodile. And don't do winners. <laughs> and if you do, then a crocodile is going to come and slap you in the face with his tail. That's that's what I get from this whole story. So, so like I said, there's um, oh, did I say there were four? But there's four levels uh, in this final world, and then the secret sentinel boss, and it's basically just a two or three the whole game up to this point. The level titles, or at least these first two, are also supposed to be puns on the already the two of the level titles that had already been. <clears throat> in the main game. The first one was so, the, and the adventure returns, a play on the first level being the adventure begins. And this one is just called Diet Burr because the first one, the original level was called Riot Burr. This I, is another I one of the levels it. where you can, if you don't do anything, you will fall off. Oh man, ice physics. Yes, that's the word for what these are, physics. This music is too bad. I was expecting worse. Yeah, no. Yeah, the music's always been good. Yeah, that's the whole thing about this game is, I mean, the music's always been... It looks pretty decent, if a little bit repetitive over time. But, uh... Yeah, it's, uh... Everything else just kinda... is a fart. It's one single fart, yeah. It's just one long, sustained... <laughs> and see, I... Like, what was even the... Supposed to be the point of that Trident Dantini? When you are definitely going to be moving fast enough that that's he will always just sail right over you or right under you. Uh, it's to give you something to do probably while you're platforming would be my guess. I mean, I the thing that more annoys me about all of this world is um, the thing that I mentioned in the previous video how they were they proved that they were clearly capable of uh, some good level design. It's just they only it apparently only lasted for like one or two levels in the final world, and they stuck those levels in the final world as opposed to anywhere earlier. Yeah. So I hook, hook, you know, like, I would hook people with a good level to begin with, put your best foot forward. Well, maybe, maybe you're not giving the, uh, maybe you're not giving the developers enough credit. You know, they wanted to let people know what they were getting into from the start, instead of, uh, making them slug through the entire thing just to get to the good levels. Maybe the good levels were an accident. Maybe they didn't realize that they had made a good level and they were meant to be crap, and the crap was inside of them all along. That's entirely possible. Also, for some reason, yet again, even though we were in the ice world, we just have a lava thing instead of the ice lava that was in World 2. Hmm. Just baffling, bafflingly inconsistent. Also, this is a really obnoxious um, screen. I can see that. that. Yeah. So well, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe much like this game was an inspiration for Mario 64, maybe having lava right next to ice was uh, inspiration for uh, for that uh, one world in Banjo Tooie. Hail Fire of... Peaks, I think it was. Yeah. I have not... actually never played a Banjo Kazooie game. Banjo Kazooie is oh. a good game. Oh, that's, it, you, that's it, sad. It's a lot like this one. You you might want to give it a shot. Uh, the whole series is actually pretty good. It's probably one of the best have, platformers like ever I, made. I know they're rare games. They're rareware games, and they're rareware always to be pretty good. Nothing means to do that. Um, fuck this screen. Uh, you'll see. Oh, wow. just, uh, remember that. No, no, it's, it's not that. This is this is all relatively fine, but in just a second, and being really careful, not getting hit. Like the bats are fine, and then. Bam. <laughs> That's a dick move. Dick move. There is literally no way you could see see that and avoid it. I nope. defy anyone to do that their first try. Challenge accepted. <laughs> no wait, actually, I'm not gonna have a first try anymore. So, uh, well, never mind. Huh. 
no one, well, the good thing is that no one will ever get there because, because they'll have to go through the entire game to get up to that point. No one will want to. Let's race, Trail let's race this the game Nile. after we're done commentating on it. Let's race it. You and me, Scruffy. Oh, yeah. I'm totally in for this. Totes. Totes sweet. So is Trail on the Nile course. supposed to be a pun on anything, or is it... Eh. Maybe. There is a big list on some wiki somewhere. And I died here, <laughs> but I keep I keep the key. But I'm not going to let you know, the game tell me that I can't do something, so... Yeah. I think that just means you're playing into its trap. I am, but I also have to show off everything, so I have to prove that I can actually beat it. Or that it is beatable. If you jump from that platform towards that ledge after getting the key and accidentally brush up against the balloon, does it sail you right back down again? Because that would be hilarious. Of course it, it does. does. <laughs> That's just amazing. What's more hilarious, this is... One of the... the this the whole level actually has pretty long screens compared to the... Compared to the others, uh, the previous two levels, and I think the next level. But it's mostly because it's got a lot of this uh, fog of war bullshit, so mm. you could just be going around in kind of pretty close circles. It's just leading you around. Well, do you think it's the longer theme. screens are a good thing or a bad thing? I mean, if they had more direction, I could see it being a good thing, because, you know, it gives you a chance to maybe show off some of the processing power of the PlayStation. Uh, yeah. But, uh, if you're not able to do much for draw distance, which they're not, I guess it doesn't, it doesn't have that much of a point. Oh. Rip. Rip and peace. It seems to happen a couple, a few times. That specific kind of fall under a platform and bounce lots of times. Yeah, because when you hit the, uh, oh, you don't really get the invis invincibility for no, it's, you. No, it's exactly like Sonic in that respect. It's the bounce twice and spikes bullet crap. But yeah, that one jump, uh, oh. for some reason, it's just, it is so, it's just far enough, and you don't have depth perception because of the position of the camera. And you can't pick up the guy because he's just out of line of sight. Oh no, he's there. You could technically take him out. Are we going to see a game over have screen, to... be honest? Nope, not one game over screen in this whole LP. Go pro. Uh, well, the thing is, like, you could jump forward and trick him into shooting. There we go. Yeah, but see? then you'd be jumping backwards onto the cracked platform right as it's about to uh, fall apart. Right. I do gotta say, though, if there's no game over screens, can you really call this a 100% run? Uh, yeah, because the save file screen tells me it's 100%. And if I can't trust the save file screen, then who can I trust? Us. We want you to die. Whoa, never. I can't trust you. I know I can't trust you. No, Frozen, dude, I'm, I'm totally trustworthy. Yeah, I always, I always play the team player in any team game. Did I? Were my holes not good enough for you? <laughs> uh, I, d I dig well. well. I shovel well. Frozen. I shovel very well. Baby, you shovel better than anyone ever I've ever met. Thank you. That does thank not make you. you a superhero. <laughs> thank you. It's a good Here's movie. looking at you, sweetheart. <laughs> Uh, I have no idea what that button did in the that last screen. I the it's, same uh, there was a button like that in the pre in another world three level, and I never figured out what they do. Yeah, I mean, you, no you, press them, they do you press them A by uh, you know by you know you have to press the red button and B. Well, it's a button it it demands being pressed. I mean, you can't just not press the button. It's it's against the rules. Yeah, I just don't know what happens if you don't press it. Um, if I was to make a wild it. guess, I would say nothing happens if you don't press it. The only thing I've ever been able to think of is maybe if they actually were able to program it in, they would say if you don't press the button, then going through the pipe at the end of the screen would, um, would, like, tele te teleport you to a different screen. Like, go backwards. Like, it's a maze. The the they, uh, I don't know, is that really the kind of thing they were able to program in this game? It doesn't seem likely what, based on I'm, what I've seen. And that's why I had said, like, you know, if they were able to do that. Yeah. On a different note, uh, I think last time I was on we were talking about Dan Teenies, and uh, I did have one. Apparently it has, uh, uh, what was it, vodka, vermouth, and something else. It wasn't very good. It was really better. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan. 
Yeah. The Dantini's are uh, kind of bitter about the got the Gobos and Croc in general. So actually, it's pretty true to its name. So I, I can appreciate the effort, even if I don't like the result. Also, like you guys are noticing, just the sheer number of Trident Dantinis in all of these screens, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, they're basically uh, everywhere. At least if you it's don't like at this at this point, it's just hilarious. Like, look at all of this. It's all that they do. Oh, yeah, you're, you know, when, you're it, when you're playing these games, when you're getting to the end, you gotta have that arbitrary difficulty. It's the only way to really make things work. I mean, what are you gonna do? Just let the kids win? No. It's not how video games work. Yeah, we need more of your quarters. I this wasn't a credit based game, was it? It's just a No, game it's that not, was but that's uh yeah. that's still a very valid way for people to to, to develop games. Yeah. And the pun there is, of course, on their publisher, Fox Interactive. Right. I get it. Okay, this is the even more of a dick move than that uh, blind one in the second level. Oh. Not this. Not that. That's how, that's, how those, that's how those are supposed to be dead, deadly. Um, if you don't jump on them cleanly, you won't get up in time. But uh, right here. Oh, what? wow. That's You'll, fair. You can kind of see his aggro range is just like close enough that he can't, he, like he'll. And he rearms jump, before, if you, yeah. Ow. Yeah, if you jump at him, if you jump at him too soon, he'll shoot you in the air. If you don't get the timing right, he'll shoot you in the air. Basically, what you have to realize is that, yeah. And if you just stand there, he will shoot you dead. And it's just the it's more the fact that you get given no gems. You can't yeah. like, side, side jump around it. I can't wow, put my finger ridiculous. on it, but watching this happen reminds me. Uh, I uh, I read through Ender's Game recently, and one of the things they do in do in the book is, I think it's called the Giant's Cup. For some reason, this reminds me of the Giant's Cup. So I uh, I realized that if you just stand right there and don't move at all, he will shoot over you. Nice. No, up and down, my one weakness. The pro stress from frozen treasure. The proest. I take it back. We're not speed running this game. We're not racing. I'm never even going to play this game. <laughs> if you were racing this, you wouldn't even be playing these levels. That's true, because these are all the bonus stuff, right? Yeah. If well, you wanted to play, if you wanted to play these levels, either you'd have to use the passwords, or you would be playing, you would be racing for like nine hours. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's all about the, uh, it's all about the hundred percent runs. I'd rather do desert games. limo. The... Play roundabout, kid. Do need to get roundabout. Uh, maybe I'll just gift it to you later. Feeling generous. You might as well speed run how to full boyfriend. Hey, you're I did. feeling generous. Oh, uh, that's been made by so many of my real life friends. <laughs> so, uh, I I have no idea what's on the left hand side, but you pick a direction and blow up one of the doors. It's slightly less stupid than the first time you encounter that guy, cause uh, the direction that you choose isn't you know blocking off the good ending. So, so if you're choosing right, we get to meet Ballistic Meg. Oh once hey, it, yeah, it's that guy again. Or girl. Whatever. Thing. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm being uh, inconsiderate. That's ballistic. Meg prefers gender neutral pronouns. For all we know, yes. But, you know. Oh, wow, that's a, that's a big step right there. That was a whole one square. And you don't attack them, or you can't attack them? You can't just knock this person out? I don't think you can attack them. If you can, then that would have made things much easier throughout the entire course of uh, the two levels that I that you see Megan. Yeah, presumably that would make life easier, but that's... Wow, those physics are still kind of screwy. So I was, I, was gonna, I was gonna point out that, like, you know, this is clear proof that, oh, this is way too easy, because all you have to do is just, you know... Uh, you just jump straight over the platform and you don't even have to worry about timing it. And oh my god. But then, um... 
just this this happened. But it was more because I got impatient and I was trying to go quickly. Hmm, do you get motion sickness? I mean, I'm good about this, but this might actually give people motion sickness. Whoa, no. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, yeah the, the way the, the, lurch, the way the platform the lurch just kind of you jump over one. Yeah, the way those platforms just completely change momentum, I could definitely see that causing some uh, motion sickness. <laughs> speed run, strats here. If I was speed running, doing speed run strats, I would have just float right over to the exit. Yep, probably. Wow, and that last one crumbles away too. That's another dig move. Thanks. Yep. Thanks, developers. You can kind of see. You can kind of see though the um, the the ones that move, that shrink away, uh, like a slightly different color. Yeah, they kind of uh, they kind of clip through. They look different, but still, dick move. Like the watching secret old '90s cartoons, and you could tell which part of the walls or floors are going to break away because they're a different color. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the stupidest boss of all. Secret okay. Sentinel. He does not qualify as a boss, I don't think. All you have to do so is uh, hit the gun and the level's over, right? He'll shoot some bolts at you and you're supposed to ride these platforms to get to all four gongs and hit all four gongs to defeat him. But the thing is, you don't have to ride those platforms at all. <laughs> nice. And so the level, you know, if you're not trying to show off how... Even, even with showing that off, it lasts all of one minute at, at that. And you said this wasn't a speed run. There you go. It could be done in like 10 seconds in a speed run. And he knows he sucks. Yet again, he's just like, ah, oh, shit, gonna die again. Hell yeah, take that, Mecha Dante. And again, I don't think Croc understood any of that. He was just like, alright, I got money. That's okay, it sounds like, uh,. It sounds like he's right there in the same shoes as the player. So, so now the credit screen as well said it's 100% complete. Uh, and then we get to watch the credits again. Woo! You're welcome, Man, this is my Paul. favorite part. You know why? Mm. Because this game's finally fucking over. Ah, uh, it was an experience to be sure. Michael Dunn, you needed to QA more. Well, no, I guess I mean, you want to <laughs> And and ah, Eric ah, Larson. Ah, Technically, I, I know the name Eric Larson. Yeah, I've heard that before, but there might just be somebody with the same name. Oh, go ahead. Rough. Technically, as far as quality assurance goes, I mean, this game is very complete. I mean, I haven't seen that many game-breaking bugs of you. I didn't I'll play just it. Wait. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be bonus content. I won't be here for that. Very possible, but, you know... As far as QA goes, I mean, everything works. It may not work well, but, I mean, you're here at the 100% screen, therefore the game must work. Who in this, in these uh, credits do we have to thank for those Dantinis everywhere? That person, let's find them. The level design. Oh, One of these level designers. Out. Let's say it's Nathan. I'm coming for you, Nathan. No, oh, man. Nathan. Hey, is, th hey thank you, number. Justin. For that yeah, nice thanks, music. Justin. Yeah, thanks, Karen, Justin, and Justin. Justin Shavona. It's, your music was uh, it's, it's it's inspirational. I can appreciate well, that. Thanks for supervising thanks, them, Steve. <laughs> oh, so here's no, sorry, here's the actual musicians. Yeah. Oh, well, you gotta have a director. And um, just like in the credit screen the first time, but even better because the credit screen was longer because of that 100% uh, complete screen. The music runs out. Oh. Well, and sorry. as um, soon as I give a compliment, they do this shit. Yep. So at the uh, now that we're at the end of this LP, um, thanks Jenner and Scruffy for joining me this time. Thanks. Let me see if I can remember everyone. Leighton Showing, Loco, El Tapeo Loco, uh, R.J. Waters, the second. Um, <laughs> Those ice blocks look like Reese's cups. Now you can't unsee it. You're welcome. Uh, consider it unseen. No, seriously. Who was the last? Who was the other person in World Three? Uh oh, I Croc never will watched return. the video. Does this mean Croc Two is coming? Croc Two came and went. Yeah, I meant. Are you playing it? Uh, uh 